Good morning, good morning. Good morning, sending love to everyone. I'm outside this morning uh, because this is my favorite place uh, to be. You know, it's, it's a, uh, another reflection after waking up uh, this morning and putting my feet on the floor. It's another reflection of uh, being alive. And I am so glad to be alive. And I surely do hope that you are too. And uh, today, in addition to counting our blessings and just being who we are and alive, uh, six feet above ground, not burnt up, uh, we're going to talk about, uh, well, the theme, the subject today is a broken heart is worse than a slap in the face. And, um, you know, some people might say, well, why do you think that? Well, I think that because if someone slaps you in the face, <laughs> you are probably going to slap them back. And when you slap someone back, it's not the right thing to do, though. But when you do that, <laughs> you get instant gratification. So a slap can minimize the hurt feelings instantly, instantly because the person who slapped you got slapped back. Now, both individuals have experienced a slap. The slap back will allow you to process your feelings quicker and not stay stuck in the hurt feelings. The hurt feelings lane, you know, where you come to, while you contemplate your next move. The best move now is to forgive. If you don't know that, let me say that again. The best move is to forgive and you forgive usually after you get over the disappointment the sadness maybe even the anger so before you make or we make an impulsive decision think about what you need to do right now. besides besides giving the person a good old-fashioned beat down you don't want to do that so it's decision time now and so you have choices when you have decisions to make, right? And so uh, in your decision time, it is time for you to make the best decision for yourself. Um, when I look down, something's always popping up on the screen and I'm just missing it so that it doesn't interfere uh, in the show. So now it's time for you to make the best decision for yourself. You could forget about who slapped whom first and talk it out, sort of work it out. You could go ahead and apologize or ask the question, well, why did you slap me? And, and you know, y'all have a great discussion about that. And then after that, you can apologize, both of you, uh, and hug and move on. You could write a letter or send a text sharing how the slap made you feel. Or you could just be cordial from this point on after the fact, but no longer interested and maintaining a relationship with that person. So we're good on that, no problem with that. So those are some decisions that you should make. Those are better decisions than a beat down. Whatever you decide to do, be sure to let the situation go. The only way to move on is to let it go. It is an unhealthy for us to hold on to negativity, any type of negativity. We always want to be in the positive mode at all time so that we can receive positive things if we look for nothing but negative guess what we'll do we'll get negative because that's the way it works that's the way this universe works so again let go just simply let go to grow now dealing with the hurt feelings without a slap and that immediate grasp gratification and slapping that person who slapped you back sets a person in a different zone, a zone of confusion and disbelief and sadness at a deeper, deeper level. And it takes time to overcome and bounce back from the experience of this type of hurt and feelings. Uh, please know that you were born to be a pleasure. So keep that in the forefront. You were born to be a pleasure, not to be abused or used by anyone. But sometimes our life experiences of drama and trauma do not allow us to feel the love or even express 
the love that we should. We're holding back because we don't know any better. So we've got to learn how to love more and receive love. Uh, you never thought it could happen to you uh, that someone hurt your feelings like that you didn't expect that they would, but someone you love unconditionally, you love them unconditionally, they broke your heart. I mean, their actions hurt you to the core and your heart is broken. The anger from the undeserving words left holes in your body and you do not know how to fill those holes just yet. You keep thinking, that's what we do. We keep thinking and using too much energy trying to process the encounter because never in a million years did you ever think that you would be in a predicament like this? That's why it hurts so bad, because you never thought that person would hurt you the way they did. And we're talking about co-workers, we're talking about family, we're talking about friends, we're talking about other human beings who actually use the same, look at the same sky that you do, look at the same moon that you do, look at the, the, the same stars that you do, uh, share the same wind and the rain and the snow and the sleet. I mean, we're all in the same boat, regardless of whether of our class, uh, a class of rich and poor, as we like to define middle class, the way we define each other. But we're all in the same class because we got the same universe around us and we're using the same resources from that university. So uh, knowing that uh, you're no different than the next, human being and we all have the makeup of feelings and all the other things we all got two eyes and a nose and a mouth and two ears and so forth and so on two hands you know i understand there's some disabilities and stuff but the the norm is to have those things you know uh so let's talk about feelings for a moment her feelings come about when someone else does something or fail to do something to or for you hurt feelings from other people most often from someone who has always, always or almost experienced hurt feelings. People will insult you, insult you, they will ignore you, mistreat you, reject you, deny you, judge you, lie on you, laugh at you in your face. Uh, there are a lot of things that people can do to hurt your feelings. But in any way, when someone you love hurts your feelings, we feel uncomfortable. We feel the stress. And from that point on, we are uncertain of the direction to take from this point. So therefore, we need to talk and address the hurt feelings. We surely do not need to do anything different at this point, but to talk, even if you have to talk to yourself, talk to our creator, talk to some confidant, uh, you know, a friend, well, a deep friend of yours, uh, a serious friend of yours, a friend that you can trust, not just anybody. So we need to talk and address the hurt feelings. We need to think about our hurt feelings and how it made us feel. And as you do this, remember that someone else did this to make you feel uncomfortable. You did not do it to yourself. But sadly, you feel the effects of the hurt feelings. And I'm sad, too, thinking about that, you know, us allowing other people to uh, do this to us. Uh, so every time I look down, boxes are popping up and they and I'm trying to make sure that they are out of the way. And I apologize for the distraction. Uh, but the point is still good. You know, we just feel uncomfortable and we're sad and we're stressed and we don't know what to do. But we do have to address our hurt feelings. So think of those hurt feelings that you have been carrying around for day after day, month after month, year after year, some of us for decade after decade. Think about your old hurt feelings today. And as you remember them from this day forward, decide to let the hurt feelings go. Forgive others, forgive yourself so you can move on. The point I'm trying to make is that you should not have to carry this load. You should not carry the load of her feelings in your mind, in your heart, in your soul, or your spirit. Understand that we all make mistakes all the time. 
and we have an opportunity to, to make good on those mistakes every day that we are alive. I mean, every day. Do not carry your mistakes around on your shoulders. We can't walk around concentrating on our mistakes. It's like getting sick off of old food. We, we ate old food that was spoiled, thinking we were gonna have a good treat and we ate it anyway. And then we got sick. Holding on to hurt feelings will also make you sick. You'll be sick to the point where you won't be able to describe the symptoms. And guess what? The doctor will not be able to diagnose those symptoms either. Anytime your feelings are hurt, you need to step back and analyze the situation for a moment before making a hasty decision, okay? So you step back and you analyze. Hurt feelings are a problem, but recognize that hurt feelings come from someone else. I need for you to pray and keep being your positive self. And if you're not positive, you will need to just let go of negativity, not worry about negativity. And if you have to, do it for a moment, but then bring yourself out and go back to the positive things that we have in this life. All the blessings that you receive, even though you don't have everything you want, you have been blessed. We all have been blessed. We all have been blessed. You, um, you know, those hurt feelings and, and things that you have, why don't you try uh, giving them that last moment of thought and uh, then put them in a brown bag or a box, a treasure box. Just whatever you want to do to get them off your back, just do it. Do not weigh yourself down by carrying someone else's baggage. And remember, sometimes our feelings get hurt because we do great things for other people. But I want you to know that whatever you do for someone else, do it from the heart. If you do it from the heart, you do not have to worry about your feelings getting hurt because you didn't get the accolades or the strokes on the back that express a well job, a job well done. You know, uh, we don't have to have that when we do things from the heart because our heart is feeling good and feeling great because we were able to do it. And I'm telling you, sharing and caring will have you living a longer life if you do it in the proper way. You don't want to give everyone all your uh, your heart and all of your uh, goods, but sharing and caring in a positive way and, and leaving it there is a great way to live. If you do share and care from the heart, the feelings of the heart will be warm and fuzzy from you and to the recipient, and you won't need anyone's approval, but he is, because you did a do a deed for someone else. So again, please, please do not internalize any hurt feelings from this point on, from today on, from listening to this, please do not. And, and do your best, your absolute best to let go of hurt feelings that you have from the past. They're holding you back. They are holding you back. You don't need them to be in your mind keeping you from making good decisions and going forward productively in all areas of your life. Because as human beings, as, as a living being, as a, as, a, as a person with a soul, a spirit, heart, all of us want to be productive in all areas of our life. We, we do this at different levels, but, you know, holding on to her feelings will have you in the gutter. Your, your, your attitude, your personality. Uh, so you want to not do that so you want to change i know some people don't want to make a change and that's their business if they don't want to make a change but i'm here to tell you that holding on to past uh past hurts uh, will affect your future you have to let it go forgive others forgive yourself and move forward uh so you there are ways to get rid of hurt feelings you know you can write uh the feeling on a rock and bury it and just talk it out and leave it in the atmosphere and let the atmosphere do well with it. Ending with an affirmation that, you know, you want to stay in the positive and you can't walk around letting others um, hurt your feelings and you, with those hurt feelings, uh, jeopardize your future. Uh, so you keep that in mind. You just need to get rid of it. Spit it out 
throw it on the ground and step on it, whatever you want to do to release the stress from the hurt feelings. Just don't internalize it. Just do not internalize it. And uh, you especially don't want to hold on to something that's going to uh, be with you for the rest of your life. So you have to let it go to grow. You have to let the hurt feelings go to grow. You have to let the hurt feelings go to grow. You have to forgive others and yourself and move on to grow. That's the only way it works. The only way it works. I want you to prosper in, a, in wellness and holding on to a negative emotions won't allow you to be well. And sometimes we need to think outside of the box when it uh, relates to hurt feelings because sometimes the person or people who broke or break your heart, they have broken hearts from previous relationships. So hurt people like to impose their hurt feelings on others they love. So you need to be careful and recognize the intentions of a person who hurt your feelings. Sometimes that's all they know is hurt. So you're going to have to be strong enough to help them overcome their hurt. And then both of you can proceed recognizing the past hurt feelings and remember what you do with past hurt feelings you recognize them you forgive yourself and forgive others to move on you have to let go to grow to move on that's what you have to do so understanding that people with hurt feelings that's all they know how to present to another person, her feelings. Just like an abuser, abusers abuse. It's just the way of the world. And the only way to overcome that is uh, perhaps through counseling or having uh, someone that's a jewel in your life, a diamond in your life, someone in your life that can help you overcome the abuse or the hurt feelings. But it begins with you inside wanting to do that, wanting to seek counseling or uh, journal it out, write it out. And I know it's hard. Believe me, I know it's hard. I've, I've had my feelings hurt before and I've, I've been traumatized for days with hurt feelings in the past. Uh, since I know how to do better, you know, they said knowledge allows you to have power. So I have my power. So I recognize the hurt feelings and then I kind of linger in disbelief that it happened. And then from that point on, I'm working to let go, to grow and not have any negativity in my life. I don't want to carry baggage around like that. I have enough of my own baggage and living this life, trying to live a good life and trying to do what I can to help others in whatever way I can. Uh, no one's perfect, recognize that. That the people you love and the people who love you, they're not perfect. So we have to somehow come to a balance on how we're gonna handle, excuse me, how we're gonna handle uh, the, the hurt feelings. And there are ways, you know. Uh, uh, one is to one rule of thumb is is not to we don't want to succumb to the hurt by making new rules and those rules are more than likely going to be negative rules negative rule boundaries because now since you've been hurt by someone you loved unconditionally you want to put up these walls of defense 
put up walls of defense. Just absolutely block everyone out all the way around with walls of defense. And you know, if you do that, you're gonna spend the rest of your life walking around with wall of defenses up to guard your heart so no one can ever penetrate your heart and trample on your feelings again. Not even if it's the sweetest, most loving and most giving individual recognizing that no one is perfect. So while we are thinking we're all good with our defense walls up, I'm here to tell you, you're not. You're missing out on what you reject and dismiss as, uh, as and love. You do missing, you're dismissing love when you put the walls up, your defense. And I understand uh, the defense mode, uh, you know, but it's not a good place to stay. Everyone, all of us wants to be loved and we're able to give love. And we all make mistakes and we assume that the genuine love we give will be reciprocal reciprocated reciprocated but this is not true because i've already told you that some of us have more love to give than others if you take nothing else from this um show do take this when your feelings are hurt you need to figure out how to recover from it so you go into the hurt feeling recovery mode and it's a serious matter. But if not dealt with properly, we will live the rest of our lives in a ball of confusion. And I know you don't want that. I don't I didn't want that either. That's why I process hurt feelings a different way. So don't bury hurt feelings inside. You can talk to someone, you can write it out, but the point here is do whatever is necessary. Do whatever is necessary to overcome so that you can live your best life, live a full life and not be carrying all of the heavy baggage that you don't need to if you process it correctly. Weighing you down and you can't move forward. So, Forgiveness is very important in all areas of our life. And you have to remember that no one is perfect. You also need to remember that everyone makes mistakes. And so the if you can't speak it, text it. If you can't text it, write it. And you want to process recovery, you want to process forgiving, and not for just forgiving the other person, but forgiving yourself, you know, because... Uh, we're supposed to do everything in moderation and we're supposed to love regardless. It's a hard thing to do in the times that we're in, you know, because a lot of us have to deal with a lot of uh, hate and everything every day. But in any case, in any case, uh, we don't want it flooding in our heart, the hate. So we have to do, we have to protect the heart uh, to keep the hate from flowing in. And the best way to do that is to forgive and continue to love, you know? And so, um, I thank you for listening, and uh, I always have to say I'm available from Saturday to Saturday, and uh, I don't have all of the answers, but the ones that I've come across that work in my life, I want to share them with others who might be able to benefit from what I've learned from experience and living this life um, for decades now. And so um, I want to bid you farewell. Sorry we had to talk about hurt feelings, but it's most important to discuss things that bother us and hurt feelings tend to hold us back. I mean, it just absolutely hold us back. And uh, we should not be in uh, a defense, a defensive uh, mode all the time. Uh, Sometimes, yes, but then, you know, we gotta grow ourselves out of that, okay? We gotta come out of that some sort of way, okay? So do your best, live your best life and, um, Visit the website, drtstill.com, uh, and uh, that's D-R-T-E-A-S-T-E-E-L-E.com, and check out some books that I have available on Amazon. Um, books, the books were written to help me, 
And so if they help me, they will help you also. That's what I'm betting on. Okay. So I'm done with hurt feelings. I am absolutely done. And the only thing I want you to know is that I love you and I'm sending love. I want you to move forward in life. Enjoy the day. Uh, uh, sun is the clouds are just blocking the sun right now, but you know it's gonna pass, and we're gonna live in the day that we have here. We've been granted another opportunity, another today, to do all that we can do to make ourselves happy and to be uh, joyous and celebrate others' life as well in a good way, a good positive way, not negative, no throwing stones. So, tuning off. Goodbye and have a great week.